So I'm thinking that what might make this question easier is if I pretend that I'm a salesman. I just got hired for this new gig and I'm given a contract to sign and the contract says that I'm going to get paid a fixed amount of $300 and then I'm also going to get 5% of my sales above and beyond $1,000. So if I'm only selling up to $1,000, there's no commission, there's just a fixed amount. So I'm evaluating this new gig, I'm thinking, do I want it, do I not want it? And probably one of the things that would bother me is that for the first $1,000 of sales, I'm not going to be compensated. And as I bring that up with a company, they're probably saying, what do you mean you're not being compensated? You're getting a fixed amount of $300. And if you think about it, $300 for sales of $1,000, that's 30%. So one way to think about this assuming we're selling more than $1,000 is for the first thousand we get 30% and then for every dollar after that we get 5%. So then I look at the statements and I try to figure out can I kind of work backwards from this information what my sales were last week. Because if I know what my sales were last week then I can figure out how much money I'm owed. Now in that context I think statement two seems easier to evaluate because it tells me exactly what my sales were last week and of course, if I know what my sales were and I have the contract in front of me, I know how I get paid, then surely statement two is sufficient on its own and I should go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that it's not. So A, C, E are gone, we're down to B or D. Now I think statement one is a lot more interesting. Let's evaluate that right after the intro. So statement one tells me that the total amount I was paid was exactly 10% of my sales. But remember that for the first thousand, I'm supposed to get 30% of my sales. And for every dollar after that, I'm supposed to get 5% of my sales. So if I end up getting exactly 10%, that's only going to happen at one particular point beyond 1,000. Now maybe you're thinking, but wait, Avi, you're assuming that you sold more than $1,000 worth of product. Couldn't it be that you got 10% with sales under 1,000? And the answer is no. If I sold less than 1,000, then my percent is even higher, right? I mean, I'm still getting $300 no matter what. So if, let's say, I only sold $500 worth of product, then I'd be earning 60% of my sales. So when we're told in statement one that my total percent was 10% of the sales, then that means that I must have sold more than 1,000 and there can only be one point on the number line beyond 1,000 at which my total earnings are exactly 10%. I mean, it's going to be some kind of weighted average between a 30% that I get at exactly 1,000 and the 5% that I get beyond 1,000 and 10% is that weighted average. Now for this question, thankfully, we don't actually have to compute what that weighted average is exactly and what it means we can just say that, yes, since there's only one point in the number line beyond 1,000 at which we'd get exactly 10%, statement one must be sufficient on its own as well, and therefore the correct answer is D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.